that's quite, that's jailed way back. Right? Yeah, no, we, that stuff should have taken us on top of Argus and you guys were just zooming. I mean, it doesn't look like the stuff in the water is blazing along, though. Well, I think we moved behind a little ledge. Yeah. Oh. If you, yeah, if you have a look at the Argus cam, you can see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're in a little valley here, looking at the contours between, um, well, Maybe not a valley, but a a ledge. <laughs> um, and the intent for waypoint two is to go upslope up to this little, past this little knoll, up to another flat area, kind of like terraces. It's like, not terraces, what would you call a series of small knolls that kind of terrace out? I can call them terraces if you want. Okay. Interpolated. <laughs> Interpolated uh, hills. Knolls. But I'm surprised that, that we've seen these big corals down here. Yeah. Like when the when they got to the bottom earlier today, there wasn't anything this large. Try and spin around. Okay, we're adding one more step here. Hmm. Bridge, Nav? I think they could wow. be bamboo. Can I add another uh, two zero meters to two zero, please? You think they're all the same? Um. A, well, that was a dead one. <laughs> We're going to have to pull up a small bit. The one in the bottom does look a little bit different. No, I think they're the same. And I think they're all bamboo, actually. You can see. Yeah. yeah. Those are all bamboo. Paula, I think there's like six. Six individuals? Six, yeah. Noted. Thank you. There's a lot in the water down here. Yeah, wow. I think I think we kicked that up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, with this step, we should be... This next step, we should be on Argus. <clears throat> I, I can't do anything. I just can't do anything. Yeah. Well, let's do this one more step. I think that might have been keratoisis. The bamboo cores? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hold no on a second. <laughs> Go for it. It was definitely internodal.
Yeah, keratosis. Can you repeat that real quick? Um, one second. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Honestly, you should probably be sitting over here and I should be sitting there. That's what I said the first day. <laughs> and they got up off the bottom. That was a bad move. Next watch will do that. <laughs> or maybe okay. whenever we get the chance to, if, if Bules can look up at her computer, I can meet her here. Oh, true. Well, I like having that there. But if I'm over here, <clears throat> oh, except she's looking on her laptop. Oh. So I'm going to call that Keratoi Sydney. Um, internodal. Clade? Noted, thank you. Yeah, hold on. Do you know how to spell it? Yeah, I found it. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you. Clade zero? Hmm? Clade this is zero? Really weird. Clade zero? I don't, I don't know. What's the, I don't know what's Bridge. the clade oh, thing. Oh, oh, I didn't know what you were saying. Um, I cannot differentiate B, clades. B clades clade. are really hard. Two zero meters, B two clade. two zero, please. Yeah, it like comes down to some like very specific characteristics. Okay. I'm Ooh, not able to get clade. Look at that. Ooh, what is that? Fancy. Can we look at that fancy no. yellow thing? No, nope. sorry, Sam. No, we're doing no, anything zoom in. but trying to get yeah. our position. Yeah. This is really weird. We're like. It's not weird, it's well, strong current. It's strong current, yeah. Mm. <laughs> is it, okay. Is it right. not any hydraulic issue? Hydraulic it's pressure issue? No. Okay. We have hydraulics. We just don't have enough to Oof. drive against it. Yeah. So. so, combo. Yeah, this is where we did the reset. We've already drifted another 50. I keep making ship moves and we just keep... <laughs> Oh, wow. So the current is up. coming right behind us. So the stuff yeah. you're looking at here is in the eddy in front of the uh, vehicle. So that's why it's all clear. jumbled around and yeah. it doesn't look okay. like it's whipping by. But it's definitely whipping by. And the the track we planned is essentially directly into, into the current? Into the current, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I think it, it, we can go better forward than we can... So my problem right now is I'm at the end of the rope, all stretched out. I can't spin around because uh, I have to right. put it broadside to the current. Yeah, yeah. And I have to get past the point. So, and we're also it seemed like the current got strong, like pretty close to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Is Argus feeling the same thing? Yeah. Well, it's, what, it's got a big setback from the ship, despite the fact that we're barely yeah. moving. Yeah. Right. Like it should be hanging off the stern, not. Yeah, but I, I keep putting it in. Meters. Yeah, yeah, and I keep putting it in ship steps, but we keep. They <laughs> it's not. It's not making a difference. I mean, it slowly is, but. Okay, one more. <laughs> I know I've said that a few times. Bridge nav. Let's add two zero meters to two two zero, please. And we can come up to zero point three knots if you're comfortable with that. I feel like that could have been a Canticorgia. Right, I'm spun around. A Canticorgia. Um. This would be better. I can write possible. I can take over the side. Okay, yeah. that's like really uh, come on, tentative. Come on, come on. tentative. <laughs> Thank you yeah, for coming it. up with the word for me. <laughs> I have a real problem now. finishing sentences for people sometimes. So yeah, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm only half listening because I'm worried about this. I can't the It's not a can't the yeah, Just whip me right back around. Yeah. Um, 
No, but sometimes I need it. Sometimes I need someone to well, finish. Oh, look, the camera's right. taking pictures. I just saw one pop Come up. Down. Looked all right. Is it actually? Yeah. I didn't tell it to. I said on <laughs> intervalometer, maybe? I don't know. No, but I never pressed record. Oh, I just saw it pop up on the screen up there. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I cannot think about the oh. live cam anymore. Also, I don't know how I got back to this screen, but here we are. Oh, maybe control Alt X. I think she's given up on that screen. I think I'm oh. giving up. I really don't know what that yellow thing was. Like, I feel like plexorids don't branch like that. It was really yellow. We can't go any direction. Wow. We're just at the end of the rope going like this. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Okay, now we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna try and point that direction again. Okay, Roger, we've got ten meters left on this step. Paying out at the same time. That was better. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the current. See it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now we're into it. It's ripping. Adam? Yeah. Like you can't even keep yeah, it's, on yeah, I know. That's really fast. <laughs> but now we're, you know, facing the right direction. We're not at the end of the rope. I think we hugged the rocks for better, too. <laughs> Jeez. Do you want me to okay. give a bit of delta there? Yeah. And then you could try and bring your heading around. Yep. I think we're getting it. We're getting control now. Okay. Okay, well the ship has stopped. Is there anything that we need to do before we keep moving? Yeah, don't you need to cameras? Yeah, we gotta do everything. Never mind. Great. White balance. Everything we didn't get to do this morning. Although we've got 20 minutes left of this watch, so we we'll must be <laughs> handing it over to the other team again. Stall, stall. <laughs> oh. It sure is. We're even, we were, the recovery. We were even on the same <laughs> heading, or on the same bearing as this morning. <laughs> it just wrote it down. It's exactly the same. It was called the plate setter watch. I was getting it ready for him.
One of your loyal followers. Ah. Uh, well, actually, that's an anemone. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think Isn't they actually sampled one turned. earlier. Really? Yeah. Huh. Is that you moving? I'm trying a whole lot of work. <laughs> okay. <Good> so, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yikes. That was fast. That was, and that was stressing against it. Yeah. Who are you talking to? I turned the fan down uh, a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, overall, we're running on 100% uh, fan on talking on SPL. Listening on SPL? Yeah. Yeah. Are you on SPL, TJ? Yeah, no, I can. Okay. Yeah, we're running 100% fan on here, so I turned some of the other ones down a little bit. Cause okay. Sort of freezing back here. Yeah, there's no problem. No, I've, yeah, uh, no I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I started to log there. Yeah, that's good. That's all. Okay. Maybe grab something with a manip. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I need to get the manip out to get the white balance. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, but as soon as I turn the manip on, that's, that's hydraulic pressure is going to... Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're see. probably going to take off. Well, we're closer now, so... so much of a hydraulic budget if you, you know there's more than you got the pressure drops and then you don't have it okay here we go Yeah, I think it's just uh, the, an overall change between, you know, just uh, to watch the actual water temperature and the, and the van temp, that they correspond. Is that going to be okay, Dave? Yeah, I think so, Bob. Right. Uh, let's uh, zoom in here and see if I can get what I need. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Um, are the porch lights on? Could they be on? So the lights got adjusted. Ah, okay. Falls off quite a bit on the so right hand can side. Can you zoom back out again? Yeah. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's in a shadow. It's something on the brow. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, we're going to do black balance first.
and the white balance. Good, save that. Okay, black and white balance are done, thank you. Might be time for another move. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna yank me off here in a second. Yeah. Bridge nav. Ah, bridge nav. Uh, let's do three zero meters, two two zero, please. Yeah, Argus is getting yeah. blown. Do I have to go with it? <laughs> you want to just go backwards on the route that we did this morning? <laughs> uh, why? Why would we move the ship backwards? Well, we're still trying. So, don't we want to pull Argus forwards? What do you want to do, Robert? Yeah, we'll re bump that, but I'm getting the yanks right now because so it's do you, so. Yeah, you, you want to go back, it. or you want to go forwards? You need to go forward. Thank you. you. Yeah, okay. You need to go forward. Bridge nav. But I need to not get the yanks. That's all. Uh, let's uh, change that to three zero meters zero six zero, please. We're gonna climb, so. Right. Zero six zero. We're gonna climb this. Yeah, we just came down it. A long ten minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking we climb that. We uh, we get into that current again. Yeah. Squat lobster. <laughs> you can tell from here? Yeah, I've seen a lot of those at vents. Hmm. Or I think they're actually like Galatheid crabs. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're crabs. Right.
Well, I'm giving it everything I got just to stay in place. Yeah. How long is this dive? 23. 23 hours. 23 hours. That's, that's, that's my like concern that. now. We're getting okay. closer to the uh, cliff face there, so I'm going to have to heave up. So you're going to have to climb in front of me. I'm giving it 100 yeah. percent ahead. I'm not budging. What other ones? And if we fall off at all, like it's starting to do, it's going to catch the wind and be like. Yeah, that's right over. Uh, there's all the telltale signs. There's, there's very little light, is there? There's just too much current. Yeah, for anything to live. Well, no, for me to be able to drive. I don't think this is going to work out. Uh, okay. Do you think there's... I literally cannot maneuver. Yeah. So I don't know how to solve that problem. Yeah. Do you want to try towing somewhere else? I don't know. Yeah, Let's discuss it with the next uh, ROV team, perhaps. I mean, I don't know what what we're, our goal is or what the yeah. current would be like there. Yeah. Could just be localized, you know? Could be. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> the different tone. The difference in energy. <laughs> different. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone tuning in. Um, we are now on the watch change. Uh, but please check out uh, nautiluslive.org and noaa.gov for more information. This region has been nominated to potentially become a national marine sanctuary. So then, uh, the data and the information that we're collecting uh, is use, is critical in informing that process. Um, but you can also take part by asking questions and your comments. They're very important. So yes, please check out nautiluslive.org and noaa.gov. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in or weren't, weren't able to tune in for our previous dives, check out uh, nautiluslive.org for our highlights. We'll be posting more highlights in the week to come. Uh, stay tuned and thanks for exploring with us. 8 to 12, signing out.
All right, I just. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, try and drive around a bit. So Hannaford, I guess we know why they were chilling. Because the current is yep. too mighty. Too mighty. So they say. Are you gonna just drive around a bit and see how it how it goes? Yeah. Okay. Mm. That poor sea lily doesn't look like it's having a good time. Yeah, this is like us holding our, uh, licking our fingers and holding it up. Like, all right, where's the current coming from? Besides all the marine snow, we can look at the sea lilies, see which way they're sadly drooping. It's like waving around, yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome aboard. I am going to be your science communication fellow on this watch. My name is Daniel Price, and I am going to be aiding you in talking to our scientists and engineers about what we're seeing in a deep ocean. Yeah, the current's coming out of... 45 degrees. It's a little different from earlier. Yeah, we can go ahead and move the ship along if you're ready. All right. All right, team, we can do this. We're gonna get back to that bottom of that wall. We are gonna pick up where we left off. <laughs> and we'll find more sponges. And we will find more sponge and coral communities. And maybe we'll look at rocks along the way too. Plenty of rocks. Sarah, can I get the uh, starboard cam on the instead of the flush tower and the port rail instead of the other one there? Oh, yes, you can. Thank you. Can you get that the pilot camera up there? Do you remember? Yes, I can. That's handy. I like that thing. Ooh, there's some big coral up there on that rock. In the back. <clears throat> Just a preview of what's Thank to come. You. Thank you. Gesundheit, Shane. And, uh, <laughs> Come up. Uh, okay, oh, okay. That. forget that for the moment then. Uh, maybe just come up on our uh, Atalanta five meters or so. So I think these are okay. big bamboo. Actually, the pilot is on. <clears throat> Number four, PC4, but it's not. And we've got Chrysogorgia too. Let's see how steady we can be. Oh, that bamboo in the back, you can really clearly see the, yeah. the bamboo-iness. Come on, still cam, take a picture, it's a great shot. Can do like a partial zoom there, video if you like. Yeah. 
Yeah, nice. Wow, that is, I've never seen bamboo coral shaking Just like that in the yeah. current. It's like shivering. Wow. That's wild. Looks like it's going with the flow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that it is. Cool. That's like full lateral into the current. It really doesn't won't move. Right really. here. Yeah. 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 You can, and you know, you see that the coral is oriented to take advantage of this current, get as much surface area as possible out along that uh perpendicular to that current so I guess this is the prevailing direction um what's that yellow in the back I don't yeah, know I'll try and get it I just gotta yeah. do the uh, like the sure sure silly version go ahead into this and I'll try and face it too strong to drive sideways. Zoom in there. Oh yeah, you can see a lot on the boulder in the background. Also a lot of a lot of coral. Um, looks like zoanthids growing on the bamboo. Those are big. Cool. Did you get a shot of that one, Loopy? All right, thank All right. you. Full wide, please. Sneezy van today. <laughs> Put that on for now. Yes, no pilot uh, cam for now. Ah, uh, stinks. Robert left me a snack. No. Gummy bears. Would be so nice if that was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> He'll probably be back. He'll be back for them in a second. <laughs> I was a little uh, sea leprechaun and came in and just put it on your desk for good luck. <laughs> That'd be nice. Have a little game to see if we catch him. <laughs> Still cam is being wonky. It's taking a picture every 30 seconds, but it's only like saving every third one. So weird. Okay. More crinoids over here. Ooh, back into crinoid, and these are not stocked. Not stocked. 
we are seeing not stalked crinoids here, which is actually really interesting. Ooh, another for for raid? The raid? No, nope, that's sediment. Uh, just sand. That's sediment, everyone. <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> Steph had gotten me too a few times. What is that? Ooh. Wanna zoom on that one? Yeah. Please. Looks like something overgrowing a dead something. Yeah. But I don't or Go ahead, small sir. paragorgia? Um, would they get that tall? Oh uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Oh. Okay, yeah, it Those is a small, stars. it'd have to oh. get closer, small oh he hemicorallium. Wait, look at that base. With that is very cool. Um, Sorry, if you can. Hold on, we're just wobbling around on rocks here. Very distinct overgrowth. Some kind of small corallid with big uh, snake stars on it. Wow. So how do you know it's a corallid? Um, the corallids, they're, they're brittle looking. They don't wave in the current. They're, they're harder of the soft corals. They Is there any chance we could get a bit closer to it for the still cam? Um, or not zoom wise, I mean, sorry. Still cam, we just take opera when he's tunistic. We're not going to frame oh, okay. stuff for still cam. We're good then. Um, the... They have the little knobbly um, protrusions that the polyps come out of, sort of like Paragorgia, but they're not as big as on, on bubblegum coral. Um, you see the branches look really squiggly rather than like straight and flowing like yeah. in the primnoids or something. That's so great, cool. thank you. Okay, full wide. Oh, uh, no. Oh, a sponge on the right. Both of those. That looks like a small polyopagon and a big balasoma, maybe. Yeah, look, that's our first really <gasps> big balasoma. Oh my goodness wow. gracious. Looks like cauliflower. Go ahead and zoom in. And this is a yeah, yellow nice. sponge. Yellowish. Beautiful. You said ISO above 1600? Um, so lower than 1600 is fine. Okay. Uh, but not lower Black. than a, like 800. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. And then, yeah, that's not a great reflection necessarily of what it's going to look like in the actual picture. So I'd, I'll okay. take it and look at the picture. So what kind of sponge is that? Uh, it's a little blown out. That's a balsoma. So then... You that's can, right. uh, perhaps next time. That's going to make the shutter Third. speed even slower, unfortunately. Turn the EV down one more. It's starting to pick up, I think. Try that out. Okay. I know when you can't control the shutter speed, it is really <laughs> just. Keep is that, that's something they can fix when. Yeah, when it comes I need up or no? to be able to change. It's an aperture priority mode. I need to be able to oh, actually. Okay. Uh, have it in full manual, okay. which you can only change on the camera. Got it. So, actually, no, never mind. Yeah, I have a question. There's a, f I, how do you distinguish between a bamboo coral and a primnoid. What's the difference in like polyp structure? I'm assuming yeah. that's what you're looking at. Uh, n I usually you just kind of know. Well, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a <laughs> a feeling. <laughs> the polyps look bamboo or primnoid-y. Um, mm -hmm. But then, I mean, obviously the 
bands are the giveaway with the with the bamboos. Mm. Um, right, right. The bamboos often look like more scraggly and spindly, but then there are ones like the one we just saw that are a bit more organized. Right. Um, Got it. It's difficult. Yeah. But the black bands are basically the characteristic between the two. Yeah, they and they also the polyps look a little different and pinkier, I mm. find. Although all of this is like not, you can't really use that yeah. as a general rule. <laughs> right. But the coloration is often slightly different. Although we were seeing like Caligorgia on the, one of the previous dives that had that coloration but was is a primnoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Were there any world polyps on that last bamboo we saw? Or what we thought was a bamboo? Any what? So the shape of the polyps, were they like in a world shape saying like... Oh, like going four? around the yeah. stem? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't recall. Could always pull up a picture later. Yeah, we have experts. <laughs> we'll figure it out. This, all of this will... And we'll Folks will go again. through and annotate this. Yeah. After the fact, and we're just giving, we're giving our best guesses educated as we guesses. go right now. Best educated guesses. Yep. It's another sponge out there. Yeah. This has been a big stocked sponge land. Yeah. So truly. So far, like a couple big branching bamboos, and small chrysogorgia. And then the colophagus down low, and now the balosoma up here. Yeah. So question. Really cool. So once we like send all the samples, and we do get the like the right identities mm -hmm. of what everything is, um, will there just be kind of like an Go update on Nautilus of everything that was kind of explored yeah, one. during this after this cruise, or? Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes blogs are written after the fact um, to share that, but there also is every year uh, the Oceanography Supplement, which is a journal article or a series of articles that gets published um, for every single cruise a, num a number of months after the conclusion of the cruise. Uh, we write up sort of the summary of where everything, what we accomplished and where everything stands. And in there Good are... Time. Thank you. In there are summaries from the Falcor cruises, Okeanos Explorer cruises, and the, um, and the Nautilus cruises from, from the season. Okay. And so sometimes updates will be in there. But oftentimes it takes longer, the, the turnaround time between taking these samples and then them getting back, getting into the MCZ and being requested and then people uh, doing sequencing or, and then, you know, ultimately publishing a paper that can take, oh, there's a baby, baby sponge. That can take, uh, that can take multiple years. Okay. So the science from these cruises, are they primarily from United States or North America, or are we talking about other global ahead, institutions so. with research vessels as well? Uh, with respect to what group, when you said, who were you asking about? Folks participating in this cruise, or? Or just uh, other expedition cruises around the world. Oh, there are plenty of expedition cruises around the world uh, led by many countries uh, um, in Japan, in France, uh, Germ off oh, and well, look at the little not necessarily kit. all in those places, but by Japanese, French, and German vessels um, off of Australia and New Zealand. Um, 
Where else do we have big institutions I'm not Ooh. mentioning right now? Great zoom. China. Thank you. There are many countries that have, uh, or numerous countries that have deep sea research programs and vessels to do that with. Oh, nice. I think by far sponges had to be my favorite stocked animal down here. I don't know why, but um, their shapes are just so unique. They're fun. Yeah, they're fun. I think it would be nice to sample one of these, sample from one of these sponges right. at some point. Maybe um, a smaller one so that we find. So what, given, given the layback that we have and how we're moving right now, Hannaford, what do you see is the best way to set that up? Well, I'll try and hang out in the front, but okay. it, w we should just stop the ship anyway, just in case it takes an extra minute okay. dealing with the slurp, but okay. we might not need it. The layback is, well, it's not as bad as it was, so yeah, I'll, st I'll try and stay out in the okay. front and we'll stop. That'd be great. As soon as, as, soon as, you see, as, soon as we see something, we'll try okay. and stop out better. Sounds good. Thank you. Help us out. When you started talking about sponges, I thought you were going to make another SpongeBob joke. <laughs> this you is know, the most SpongeBobby sponge we've seen. So I was going to ask, what really kind is. of, what type of sponge do you think SpongeBob is? Um, oh. He's definitely a kitchen sponge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean SpongeBob the movie. He is so a kitchen sponge. Yeah, spoiler that got alert, dropped sorry. in. Is that the like story? Yeah. Yeah, they. Oh uh, man, they that's took him out of the water and dried Spoiler Patrick alert and SpongeBob everyone. out. <laughs> yeah, when he's in the in the um, light in Shell City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turned him into uh, uh, gift shop Souvenirs. toys. Souvenirs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah these sponges, like uh, they like SpongeBob round pants. Oh, sea cucumber. Really. Where? Oh. Oh, there Purple, we go. I oh, think. yeah, oh. right ahead of us. Yep. Hollow Thurian. My favorite. Oh. Sorry, Daniel. I asked for a SpongeBob joke and then I cut you off. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a blob. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect. Go ahead and zoom. I guess I'm this whole time been looking for pineapples down here as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big sea cucumber. Look at that, buddy. Maybe an urchin on the other side. Yeah. Sea cucumbers always look like worms to me, but they're not. Yeah, they're really cool. Ooh, look at them moving. Ooh, so after waypoint two, looking at this, I guess that's a downward slope. So the plan is to go, oh wait, no. No, that's just, hold on. This is hard to follow. Oh yeah, it goes down. It's kind of like a plateau. Plateau and then up. Okay. Wow, great zoom. Thank you. They're so cool. Like a cucumber. <laughs> a purple one, that is. Yeah. You ever seen a purple cucumber? No. Do those exist? Are those eggplants? <laughs> Could be. Maybe we'll have to find one one day. Above water. Oh, the layback on Atalanta is like significant. Yeah, that's so what they were mm -hmm. pointing the out. The current is doing it. We have, we just really not, we only started moving. We haven't moved very far.
this is an interesting little feature here. Yeah. We didn't see this one the first time. A little gully. Oh, look at yeah. this gully gorge. A nice little cleave in a rock. Yeah, okay, who we got over there in the yellowy? Oh, those are crinoids. Yeah. Those are really awesome. wavy, big yellow crinoids. Okay. Cool. Could we get a zoom on one of those whenever sure. there's a moment? Just a second. Okay, go ahead, video. Ooh. Wow. It's, just, it's really cool to see all the different colors that come in. We've seen like ones that are black and white, black, gray, brown. Mm -hmm. Someone in the chat had a, what they call a silly question, but it's a great question. Do corals ever sleep? Sleep? Yep. I don't think no. so. No coral sleeping. Also, this looks like but a... That is a good question. Mm -hmm. These okay, look like this still these? Cam is annoying me. Stop. Yes. Maybe those. <coughs> These. Ooh, big coral. Hemicorallium, maybe? No, these no. are all bamboo. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Even that big? Oh, yeah. Big bamboos. Hmm. <clears throat> what type is that? Do you want that? to get in and get a zoom of a that A type one? of bamboo? Yeah, the one, the big one on the left. Like, what type is that? I am not sure. <laughs> Yeah, it would be good um, actually next time we pass by a big fan to get a look at whether it's nodal or internodal branching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can go to it. I just got to do yeah, this sure. zigzag thing. Can't, can't lateral very well. Might have to just try and zoom from here. Go ahead, video. It's not going to be the greatest. But. It's so, oh. well, the view from still cam shows like how up against this rock we are, but it's so hard to yeah. tell Ooh. otherwise. Can't tell from here. Hmm. Ah, internodal. Pretty though. Internodal branching. And if I may ask, how do you know that? What are you looking for? Looking at the black bands mm -hmm. and where okay, full wide. Where the branch starts. If it's in between two black bands, then that's the internodal branching. And if it's at a black band, that is nodal branching. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, come down a little on Atalanta. Coming down. So for those of you at home who are curious and interested in how you can join our team, you can go to our website and there is an about tab. Under there, there are employment opportunities or you can go to the join tab. You can find opportunities ranging from opportunities for students, educators, and scientists. And we 
have teams of people who are all over the STEAM fields. That's science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Another call of Aka's friend. And look at how many stocks, bottoms of yeah. stocks there are right here. Of or maybe of sponges babies? and coral. Yeah. Um, wow. That's I think with how thick they are, they're probably they like they're remnants. Mm. That's full ahead. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay, really battling. Really strong oh, it's not right Colophagus, it's Balasoma. Mm. Oh. Do you want to zoom on this one? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, look at that yellow stem. Yeah, and you yellow can see stalk. that it attaches to the bottom, oh, ahead, and then the moony mm -hmm. face concavity is in the front. Mm-hmm. They almost look like eyes staring at you. Oh, and in still cam, Ooh. I can see there's a tunicate waving around right oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a party. Having a party. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I wonder what the, um, why it's kind of a gradient yellow. Yeah, I don't know. This also looks like a younger one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, about 10 inches. Mm-hmm. Smaller. That's Great zoom. Good, thanks. Or, yeah, I'm sure. Go crazy. Okay, <laughs> full wide. Yeah. It's yellow, it's slowly turning into a full get too far Swiss behind cheese here effect. It's <laughs> difficult to catch up. Yeah. Oh. So somebody in the chat was thinking that might be a Bolasoma instead of a Caliphacus. What do you think about that? Yep, yep, that's what we corrected it to. Indeed, they are right. Cool, cool. So is there any sort of deep sea animal that we would, might expect to exist, but that so far haven't yet discovered? Uh, if there are deep sea animals that that we have not discovered yet? Yeah. Like oh, in this yeah. Part of the ocean. I mean, I mean on yeah, this dive? like <laughs> every dive <laughs> we find something pretty much. Um, I guess that's not true. Not every dive, but it is very common that we'll find something that is either extremely rare or off and even totally novel, um, new to science, yeah. Which is part of what's so exciting about coming to these sites that no one's dove at before. And, uh, you know, where we are right now, this is at, I don't have a Herc screen up, our depth is 2,400 meters. There have been, when we were doing some deeper dives closer to 3,000, there have been very, very few dives in the entire Pacific Remote Islands uh, National Monument and, and AEZ surrounding it um, to that depth. So it's, you know, it was totally possible that we would find organisms that had not been seen elsewhere. Still many more discoveries to come. Yeah. So many more. And that's the fun part of deep sea exploration and why we try and have on board as many people as we can with many diverse talents and backgrounds. So if you're still interested in joining our team, uh, we have applications av available usually later in the year, uh, internships and fellowships like in science communication. But we are looking to have educators of all kinds. That includes public, private, school teachers, community or uh, youth service, nonprofit educators, museum or queen, Aquarium interpreters, storytellers, writers, artists, etc. Even for me, uh, my journey to becoming a SCF comes from me working in a national park as a park ranger. So being here aboard to talk to you about science is my big passion, and that became a career for me. We have others who are, say, marine biologists and geologists. Could we look? There's a balsam on the right. Sorry to cut you off. It's okay. You can continue. I'm, I'm seeing it in still cam. It's got to be not so far from oh. us. Oh, there it, is. There, there it is, right there. Oh, All right. big Swiss and cheese. And a bunch in the background. Sorry, continue. No, you're okay. Just uh, yellow. <laughs> make it a quick one. We're okay. getting dragged behind here. Can't yep. uh, that current's like right on the edge of what we can do? Sure. Oh, yeah. We don't have to zoom. Just wanted to pan to it. All good. You can continue. Oh, we are getting blown away. Yeah. Yeah. My gosh. Hey, Sarah, can you tap? 
It's like a blizzard down here. Stop, stop the Follow ship someone? there. Yeah, for yeah. <laughs> so we get, because we're starting to get into some steeper stuff the there, too. Warning. No, you're fine. Um, full wide. Just until we get the layback is severe and Herc is a ways back now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So even though we're so far down, so deep, why do we have such a strong current, do we think? Uh, there are persistent uh, deep sea currents that travel around the whole travel around the whole globe. And yeah. are we on the slope of the sea now? On uh, that top? too. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> we are on the slope. So uh, like it's kind of a uh, hummocky. Yeah, yeah, like in my bit of experience, I find a lot of times around the seamounts, you'll get these channels of just wicked current. And then, you know, as you go up or down or get out of a little valley or something like that, it changes up again. Right. Um, yeah. Sometimes it gets too much and like, you know, we just can't can't operate. And we've picked up and towed like, you know, t yeah. over the valley kind of yeah. thing, right? Mm. Um, what would you say this is on a scale of like one to can't operate? Oh, this is like almost can't operate. Like I'm full ahead right now. Oh, That's wow. wild. And I have to go up oh or down gosh. like one at a time, right? Because I don't have enough thrust to do everything at once. Wow. So it's just barely creeping forward here, right? Oh my gosh. Wow. So this is like, you know, very close to not being able to do anything. It's not really, it's not so much uh our watch is really going through it today. Yeah. Yeah, but it's early. We'll get through this. Yeah. It's all about endurance. Yeah. Just need right. a little uh, turbo boost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing <laughs> Atalanta up there, like flying around. <laughs> Can someone please start playing Tokyo Drift? <laughs> New Fast and Furious movie out. Out. Oh. So, Lila, you mentioned the word earlier, hummocky. Can you tell us what that word means and what you were describing? Oh, I don't know that that's the right term for that. Uh, but I was just trying to describe all the knobbly hills that we have here at the base of this um, guillot where we are right now. We're not quite on, like, one of the steep faces of the guillot. Those are all a bit shallower, but um, we're, we're sort of lowered down on, on one of the flanks of the guillot. Uh, and it gets into these sections that are sort of like big hills or bumps. And uh, that's what we'll be going over on this dive. We're kind of going over what looks almost like a series of terraces. That's some great geology speak. Yeah, I can tell you're pretty much on the money <laughs> as a <laughs> geologist myself. Yeah. Was hummocky actually the right word for that? It is, yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That was my uh, favorite word to learn in um, my cinematology classes. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is it. So you're just asking, right? That's like, I've just got spun around now. Okay. So that's, that's it. That's the extent of it. So uh, I'm going to come up a few meters. And then what I would suggest is we just move along with the ship some distance. Yeah, um, yeah just want to try to tow. Yeah. OK. Not a big right. mid-water thing. Like, we won't come up a whole lot. We'll just get clear of the, of get the, the Atalanta sonar clear of everything. That's really all, all we can do. Yeah. Um, I can't. Do you feel okay about that approaching the, the slope? Yeah, but um, I, ju I don't know if we're going to be able to actually do anything on that slope. But okay. when we get over there, we might find that the current's better. Of course, it could be yeah. worse, right? Right, but right. Yeah, we'll see what, see what we find. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're fully strung out. So come up, yeah. uh, come up on, our, on Atalanta. Oh, yeah. And then uh, oh, we'll just. So until we get to waypoint two, we're actually going down slope. Um, so this should be the highest depth. Yeah, OK. So let's just get yeah. 
something. You you have uh, a 35. Maybe just take a 40 meter altitude okay. with Atalanta for now. Mm. Okay, and then just tow along just as you were doing your moves. Uh, yep. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Then, yeah, awesome. All right, right around 40. It's kind of fluctuating. Yeah. Sorry, I'm muted. Can you uh, zoom the Nav G one in a little bit there? For those of you listening at home, our watch is bad luck. We always <laughs> seem to run into problems. Our watch is not Shia. bad luck, Cheyenne. You Shia. put that attitude away. Yeah, that's right. This is the watch that's going to see <laughs> a whale just shark. A <laughs> yes. Yes. Whale Minor shark This is the watch that fights the challenges and always comes back fighting. That's and right. we're also, it's 12 to 4. Like that in itself. Do Come you on. feel this energy on the 12 to 4 watch? If you on. It's the golden hour. Right here on this watch. It's early. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's not going to stay like this. Yeah, see, so it says it's taken three pictures and it has oh added God. It's added zero. Yeah, I see. So, Check uh, the other subfolder maybe? No. Or it's not. It's, it's, it's specified uh. which folder. No. It saves in and it is I see. not doing it. So. No. Sad. So I think that, I don't know. It does it when we just take a picture. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's see. No. Does it? Because <laughs> it was before. Mm. No. Said I don't want to. Um. No. Is there any way that you could, did Give you try changing the thing to like a different one? The thing to a different one? Like the changing the subfolder that it's specified to and seeing if it like resets or something? Yes, uh, that thing. did not help. That may be, no, that shouldn't be an issue right now either. It doesn't yeah. usually care about that uh, if you're not starting the intervalometer. Okay, earlier it was manually taking right. one every time I pressed it. Now it's not stops. even doing that, so. It must um, be. Hannaford, could we cycle power to the still cam sure whenever you have thing. a sec? Thank you. DSC off. It needs a minute. <laughs> On. No, yes. On now. Thank you. I think the people who had the bad luck mm -hmm. today were the ones that were covering on the deck. <laughs> yeah, that and the watch before us that had to just get us down to the seafloor both times. Yeah. yeah. And all that rain we got. Yeah. That's right. Um, we're not going back. Well, okay, we are back up a little bit, but it's because there's a lot of current right now, so it's literally impossible for us to, like, move around. So I think what we're doing is just navigating the parts where it's not as strong and trying to get closer and trying to get out of this yeah. current. Yeah. It might mean, I don't know, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just continue. We'll move ahead a bit and try and drop in. We'll see. Yeah. I can always tell, like, we're only a few meters off the bottom, so as we go, I'll just try and back perk down on Atalanta. Yeah. And if it works, we'll know there's less current. Sounds good. Thanks, but we literally Mike. got... I didn't actually even turn the vehicle around. It just literally got blown off. That's, That's incredible. Oh my gosh. And you wonder why there were very few things around. <laughs> yeah, maybe that explains all the headless... Uh, the headless things. sponges, right? They <laughs> get too big and then they can't, can't uh, support themselves anymore. Who knows? Mind blown. 
<laughs> Head blown. This yeah. is the literally highway to the danger zone out here. It oh. literally blew their heads right off. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. Oh, uh, man. Yep. It's like the hydrodynamics of the deep sea is almost like that of flying an airplane in the air. It's all fluid dynamics. So, while we're waiting, <laughs> Leela, while yeah, I may ask. Yeah. So, we think we've been seeing Bolosomas. Yes. There's also another genus called Sacocalyx. Oh yeah, not Sacocalyx. Sacocalyx. They are really um. Mm, how do I describe this? So those those Holy? yeah, there it's the kind knobblies, all the little oh, protrusions, the, the fingers. That's the sacrocalyx feature. About, what about, oh, I see, I see, I see. So like when it's kind of yeah, that outside, right? Exactly. You'll, they look like they have droopy fingers often, or Whereas little little the knobs. Whereas the balasoma kind of looks more like a heart. Um, so that's like probably not the most characteristic one. Or it's like a very small, fragile-looking one. Right. These, these, this row, I'd say that's all very okay. classic. Got it. Yep. Huh. These look so similar. <laughs> I would be interested to see the genetics of these. Yeah. Compared. Yeah, when we're, if we're seeing a lot of these on this dive, we'll definitely, yeah. uh, definitely sample one. It's giving closely relate, well, all of them look really, yeah. Cool. So what are y'all looking for when you choose a coral to sample? On these dives, they're kind of, for for bio, two main reasons we would sample something. One is if it's the, if, if we've been seeing a lot of it and it seems to be a dominant um, component of the, of the community, then we'll sample it so that we, even if we think we know what it is, it's good to have a log of samples from different regions of the Pacific. And ultimately those can be used for population studies um, but also right now, in deep sea, with deep sea corals in, in the Central Pacific in general, uh, there's so much uncertainty about the, the actual taxonomy and structure and, and, and uh, species that look, look the same but actually are different genetically. When you sequence them, they're, they're significantly different. Um, kind of, yeah, cryptic. Mm -hmm. So... So it's important to sample the main players of the community for that reason. And then also if we're, we observe anything novel and it's either because it's on our, uh, the list of wish list collection items from our scientists ashore or because a scientist ashore, a taxonomy specialist is yeah. tuning in with us and has noted that something is novel, then we'll collect that as well um, so that we can put that in in the repository at the Museum of Comparative Zoology, where we keep, um, where we send our biological samples to. And so whenever a new species is discovered or a range expansion is discovered, then um, that's an important item to have lo logged there, to have there, a specimen to have there at the MCZ. Mm -hmm. And then scientists can request it from there, taxonomists who might want to describe it or, um, or, or use it for studies, other studies. So taxonomy, that seems like a big field, given that we have to describe all life on Earth, basically. Um, could you say that there is a good career path into a field such as that? Taxonomy, it sounds right, like this is so important, this should be a huge field, there should be all kinds of people doing taxonomy. That's not really the case it's kind of something it's you have to lump into other things yeah which is kind of unfortunate yeah it's it's difficult to get funding 
just to study taxonomy. And so a lot of, yeah, a lot of the taxonomists are people who have built up that knowledge over yep. many, many years yep. of doing studies on that general area of organisms, but like, you know, other hypothesis driven studies. Um, but in that way, having building up a taxonomy specialty kind of not having as a more product people. yeah of uh of your hypo other uh other research that maybe is more fundable is is definitely a career path and is important and could use more taxonomists for yeah. sure i would say the closest well the field that is most likely to harbor taxonomists is phylogenetics because that yeah. in itself is yeah. like you're figuring out how things are related um but yeah it's kind of sad <laughs> um knowing what things are anymore isn't really a t like a first priority sort of thing it's more like a or byproduct it, it, of yeah like it is imp it is it's important a mission that yeah. you know like that NOAA has to better understand what the biodiversity is in these communities, but we tackle it differently now. The funding is kind of given out differently. Yeah. But yeah, taxonomists, very important. What would we do without Steve? <laughs> oh yeah. And Asako and other people that help us ashore, you know? So. So it's a very high demand field right now. So that's something you're interested in, consider uh, maybe those pathways that we mentioned. So, Sarah, you mentioned uh, phylogenetics. What is that exactly? Yeah, so phylogenetics is basically when, so when we take these samples, say we take a coral sample, and we, put, we send it back as a sample, and some scientist wants to use it and sequence it. They will take that sample, they'll do some sort of sequencing, like PCR analysis, um, and they'll basically get the DNA code for that certain um, coral. And then they will compare that to other corals that they have that they already sequenced. And then they'll see how those genes are related to each other. It's, I'm, I'm oversimplifying a lot here, but um, there's basically, it's a lot of, computer algorithm work um, and models that put together how things are related to each other based on changes in the in their DNA. But it's a really big field, really important, um, and really interesting for deep sea, especially because, like Leela mentioned, there's a lot of cryptic species. Mm -hmm. So you don't really, it's you can't really look at something and be like, oh yeah, that's this species because it has this. Um, a lot of times you'll look at their genetics and you'll compare them to other corals and you'll find that they're actually way, way, way more similar than they, than you thought they were, but they look different. Um, so that's why this field is really important and really popular in the deep sea. And that's actually something I worked on a little bit, um, in my undergrad with a different, with, um, two scleractinians, two hard corals in the, um, what's it called? The Atlantic Ocean. Um, Lophelia <laughs> pertusa and Desmophilium dianthus. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. I know the price of uh, sequencing DNA has gone down dramatically over the decades. Like you mentioned, uh, PCR tests, that's uh, what we use for many COVID tests now. Yeah. And it goes to show how widespread the technology is and how affordable it is now. Uh, you can even do it at home if you ever uh you're interested in dna sequencing there are plenty of kits online you can order i think i've seen them for like 150 bucks or yeah. so as i say it's a little more complicated than what you yeah. get at home it definitely is it's a it lot harder <laughs> but, but if you're interested it's it's, the same it's a start concept, and yeah kind of. it's always a genetics was always something i was curious about and i wanted to kind of dabble into but you know See, rocks don't have dna in them <laughs> Yeah, that was me until I took the genetics class, and then I thought, maybe I don't want to be a geneticist. <laughs> so now yeah, I'm here. it's tough. Is that the name of the gene scientist geneticist? I think so. That's kind of cool. 
Yeah. It's a fun word. You know, a scientist who studies fish is an ichthyologist. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a fun word. word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is random, but while we wait, um, Daniel was looking at hippos, and it reminded me of how much I love baby hippos. What is everyone's <laughs> favorite baby animal? <laughs> baby Yoda. Or organism. <laughs> a what? Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Oh. He lives in the galaxy far, organism. far away. It's a good one. Mm. I love baby raccoons. Oh, oh. little so grubby hands. hands. Like they, they just want to touch everything and they dip like all their food in water. Uh -huh. We got to raise some when I was a teenager and it was just like the best thing oh. ever. Oh. That's awesome. I don't know what is up with this camera. Mm -hmm. Loopy, do you have a favorite baby animal? I think I know what it is, actually. What do you think it is? Is it a baby llama? Actually, it's not. Dang it! <laughs> it's a baby, um... I like the baby alligators or crocodiles. Really? Aww. Yes, they're so adorable. They do look cute. See, oh they are, they okay. are cute. Okay. But, right. Mm -hmm. I'll look up a baby alligator. But I like alligator. your guess. Baby llamas are cute. They are. Mamas oh are my, my favorite God, animals. Really but like, yeah, if you look at a baby crocodile or so, they're so adorable. <laughs> yeah. Mike, how are we doing? If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> during these trying times. Oh, we're, we're spun around again. You'll see her come out in front of Argus at Atlanta now in a second, so that's good that we're able to do that. And then when I get out in the front, we'll, we'll just come on to the slope. It's right in front of us. So it looks like we'll be able to do something. I wouldn't have been able to turn around if it was still as strong, right? Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. It's looking good. Cool. Meanwhile, does anyone have questions? Um, I was actually uh, going to say a fun fact that I learned. So the reason I was looking up hippos was because uh, Something popped on my mind about, I was curious about whales. So I was looking it up and it's interesting. Oh, whales yeah. are more closely related to say cows, deers, and hippos yeah. than they are to say humans or cats and dogs mm -hmm. because they were at one point hooved animals. Okay, Sarah, can you come down on Atlanta a bit? We'll get back down on the bottom here and try and carry on. All right, coming down. Yeah, we're finding out funny things all the time about how things are related. It's really cool. Really cool field. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah, somebody in the chat had typed in uh, asking about Basilosaurid. And it's an extinct animal at this point, but uh. it is the ancient ancestor of whales. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thanks, person, for the fun fact. See, we're learning stuff new every day. <laughs> Even on the interwebs. Oh my gosh. That comment. Fair bit better. Yeah. Hooray. Oh, and look at this texture. It's good to keep the ship marching on. Yeah, keep them going. And we're back. And we're back, friends. <laughs> War rocks. Okay, so it's letting Is me it take manual pictures again. Hooray! So if you just hit autofocus and then the shutter button mm -hmm. every time you're like, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Let me know how sustainable that feels. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if not, we'll just settle for the having it every like. 90 seconds or whatever that actually ends up being. No, should be good. And you said I can just change it. Um. Yep, so take on your right screen. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Watch Any day now. Still can. Maybe it's loading. Let me try. <laughs> Very strange. Maybe it doesn't like me. Is there a manual way of doing it? No. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Try that. Okay, we're back. Now we're back at our base. Hooray! Woohoo! See what we can see. How's it feeling over here, Hannaford? Yeah, it's much better. Better. Okay, so great. So I, I assume because we're it's not far away, I would imagine when we start to get close to the top of this, we're gonna get the same thing. Right. Yes. Oh, we're probably protected right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what well, this slope actually has in last. store. <laughs> um, so you're going to want to hit the... I know maybe you're just testing to see if it goes in, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hit. But otherwise, hit the autofocus first, and then while it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, Amber, have you got uh, the temperature graph up somewhere for the van? Oh no, do you feel it getting warmer? What? Yeah. You, what you, you're, what you, you have something you can keep an eye on over there? Yeah, it's 68 in here. Okay. No, I just, the one over here is not lit up. Yeah, it's because mine is on full, stuck on full blast, and so I'm in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. Mm. So if anybody <laughs> has a spare jacket. Um. Sophie, you're just tuning in. Welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. Oh. We are currently exploring an area oh. of the ocean. This area is around the Pacific Rim of Islands Marine National Monument. We are just right outside there within the exclusive economic zone of the United States. During our live feeds, we always have people tuning in from all around the world. Luckily, we have some people who are typing in a chat from China at a school in China. Ooh. And awesome. then, Hello. That's that super cool animal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep th something. It's all cool uh -huh. stuff down here. And so they ask us, what's it like working on Nautilus? And have we found any interesting new species or anything that just has stuck out to us? On this cruise so far? Yeah. Or even in the past. Yeah, all the time in the past. Uh, mm. We've discovered many new species in the samples that we've collected here and uh, have done a lot of, contributed a lot to the understanding of the distribution, both, in, you know, spatially throughout the ocean, uh, but also depth wise at, at different depths throughout the ocean of, um, of different species. And, uh, yeah, we're discovering new things all the time. On this cruise in particular, I'm trying to think if we've had anything super exciting. There have been. Like that Radio Laren? The, oh. the Radio Laren was cool. Um, I don't know that we discovered, at least maybe this happened while I was out, out of commission, but I don't think we discovered any new ones. I think those were all, all ID'd, yeah. mm -hmm. but still very cool to see. It's huge radiolarians. Um, well, I mean, like more. Sarah was mentioning, a lot of the corals that we collected that we were unsure about the taxonomy of, it's hard to tell now, but any of those could be new species or, or new clades of some kind. There hasn't been anything quite yet where I'm like, we have what no idea that? what this is. Well, that, that yeah. black, that the black, black orb, that was thing. cool. We didn't collect it. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Maybe. Wouldn't have preserved well. <laughs> well, we got some uh, good pictures, so maybe some yes. scientists ashore can help us out with that. 
think somebody suspected it might be like a snail a casing. I saw that. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was. Because yeah. when we looked at it like it more closely, stalled. it looked very the stalked kitty. part. That's that's what it was throwing me off. I mean, it could have been growing or hanging on to a dead stalk of something else. Hard to tell. I remember that white orb on a previous expedition. Well, it's purple, not white. Still haven't gotten an ID on that, have we? Uh, yeah, they, there's there are two groups arguing a little back and forth about what they think that is, but then that, it kind of led to a... And then there was kind of a, a halt on both fronts of looking into it further is the last I heard, but I've held that sample at the MCZ. It's all shriveled up in the, fr in the fridge now, <laughs> in the freezer. Oh, wow. um, one group thought it was a pleurobranch, which is a mollusk. Uh, I don't know what the other group thought that it was. Okay, hooray, I have it working. Woohoo! Well, Slope, you're letting us down a little here. Yeah, <laughs> we were working so hard to get to you. Must be super. Oh, what's on the gusty. left? Yeah, if, if oh. there are any bo big boulder oh, ridges, let's go look at those. Oh, coral. <laughs> There's an, a lot of nice loose rocks out here. Bamboo. Go ahead and zoom in. Oh, and there's Ooh. a sponge in the background there, too. Yeah. Oh, look at that bifurcating base. Mm hmm. What, what did it? you say the base was? Bifurcating? Like, see how it splits into two? Oh, bifurcating. Oh, nice. Can we zoom on the. It looks like there's a section that's maybe overgrown with something that is not the bamboo in the center there between the lasers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Some weird. Oh, and there's a little a cherry a on top. Worm. <laughs> weird zoanthids or something taking over part of that. Do we want a sample? Uh, I don't know. I think we're all good. Okay. Because I don't know. Could this be a case of coral livery? Do we care about Ooh. that? Um, I don't, I can't remember. I wouldn't that say that we need to sample that, but okay. Very cool. Cool. I love the two worm on top. Very yeah. opportunistic. Yeah. So how do we also additionally know this is a And then can we take a look coral. at the sponge right behind it, please? Sponge right behind it. Uh, yep. I don't it see it. It's right here. Tiny guy. Oh, okay. Yep. And a big crinoid again. Yeah, wait, I might be confused. What is bamboo coral a common name for? Uh, Isidity. Okay. Oh, these are all. Uh, go ahead and zoom in. Come up a bit on Atalanta. Only gonna have a second here. We're getting far behind. Okay, sure. Call of Vegas. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Slipped. <laughs> All right, I just gotta catch up there. You know, sea cucumber is like a delicacy. Like, a, I believe it's an Asian specialty. I want to try it someday. Oh. Oh, crinoid. I definitely have seen that on the internet before, like YouTube videos of uh, people eating uh, sea cucumbers. But they don't look super crunchy, honestly. No, they're not. No, they're mushy. They're mushy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people eat coral. Now that I think about it. Um, no. I would assume <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope not. Skeleton, I feel like, makes them very bony. inedible. <laughs> yeah. 
it's like eating glass in some cases. Yeah. So somebody in the uh, chat actually said that there's a real sponge that is named after SpongeBob called Spongiforma square pantasi. I feel like <laughs> I've heard of that actually. I'm curious what that looks like. Let's see. Oh wow. That looks like his dad. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Is it a demo sponge? I feel like um, I would say he's shoot. a demo sponge. <laughs> it does look like his dad. Um found in Malaysia. Where's Actually, it's a species of fungus, oh, not it's a, a species SpongeBob of sponge. Mushroom. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Found in Malaysia. Not Bikini Bottom. Okay, back over Sandy Bottom. Woohoo! We're doing it. How's the current feeling? Oh, it's not bad, no. Nice. Okay, that's good. So we get a lot of questions about how to be interns aboard uh, Nautilus, and one of them is, uh, is there any interns for those studying marine science? And in fact, we do, we have plenty. And we actually have some marine science interns on our uh, expedition. We have one on our watch with us right now, sort yeah. of. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I know marine science kind isn't what you specialize in, <laughs> yeah. in um, university, but yeah, tell us more. Tell us more about you and how you got here. Um, yes, hi everyone. My name is Guadalupe Zapata. I am an undergrad at Tuskegee University, um, studying animal science with veterinarian. Um, yeah, I am the data logger here, the science, ocean science intern. Um, I got on board um, by realizing that, hey, there's a lot that you can, a large variety for veterinarians, such as animals and stuff. And um, I currently joined the Ocean Exploration Club at school. Uh, went on a field trip to Southern Mississippi's Marine Center got to explore behind the scenes of um, the aquarium there and everything and stuff. And um, yeah, I just figured, hey, marine life is like the best life. <laughs> so um, yeah, I applied for an internship, um, which part of it was um, being here with Nautilus. So this is like my first part of my internship, and then next month I will be in Rhode Island and then Mississippi. So, um, but yeah, uh, it is a great opportunity. I Ooh, really basket suggest. Star. You want to Sorry. see a star? Um, I think good? it's below us. We kind yeah. of just yeah. passed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, I saw no, it and I was like, we're, basket star. We happen to be way out front anyway, last there it time. Is. Yay. Go ahead, Loopy, and finish. But, um, why was I about to type basketball? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this has been a wonderful experience so far. Um, so yeah, I really suggest if you're looking into marine science, this would be a great internship for that, honestly. Amazing. Oh, this is... Brazinja, maybe? Um, no. Actually, okay, it's go ahead not and zoom in. holding itself like a presinja usually would, but yeah, looks like a wig almost. Oh. Ooh, it's uh, many side. armed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, many armed. I still one. think presinja maybe, but let's look. And he said this is a basket star. No, it's not a basket star. No, I misspoke. What kind of sea star is it? Do we know? That's good, thank you. Okay, full wide.
Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody falling asleep. <laughs> no, we are the yeah, awake it's a watch. Yeah, we are yeah, the golden the hour watch. We don't fall asleep. No <laughs> sleeping. This is why we have caffeine. <laughs> mm. Hot beverages. Ooh, fish. Oh yeah. Oh, fish. Oh yeah. Just keeps me. Oh, pyroid. Kind of don't see. Oh, silver dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like oh, so nice when they come up. to us. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, a no fitted of some kind. Cuskiel. They always look like they're swimming upside down because their heads are so home. weird. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nobody. Collision. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, Close encounter. Come down a bit. Come on. You know you want to. Nope, it's gone. I believe there was one watch where I s saw a Cuskiel trying to get into our scoop. Yes. Yes. Um, really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I was actually hoping it'd go in there just to see, you know, we get a free sample that way. <laughs> <laughs> it was trying to go in the laundry basket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I did not know that I w that was ours when we had first um, brought it up on the dive. I thought that was something we might have collected <laughs> on the ground floor. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look. Oh, big fish. Oh. Yeah. We're getting some vertebrates. Actually, we saw tunicates. So... Chordates, uh, but zone? not or yes, not, not vertebrates. Vertebrate. No, that's a macrurid. Oh. Is it swimming sideways? Yeah. Um, so that one is spelled like these. Macrurity. Would it be possible to zoom in a wee bit more? Going tighter, yeah. Oh, he's so Ooh. cute. Thank you. Oh. Um, let's face. see. Is that Cory Phenoides? Who do we got? Kind of double check. That's great. Thank you. Look at that face. Oh. And with the laser. Man, good picture. So, Leo, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, I noticed that uh, pretty much all the eels we come across have one long, wispy tail that they use for locomotion. Is that a, a trait exclusive to all eels, or are there other fish that aren't eels that also have a tail like that? Hmm, that move with that eel like motion? Yeah. Definitely not an ichthyologist, but <laughs> I'm trying to think if off the top of my head I can think of others. There, there are uh, fish, like true, I guess like true fish or like not eels that do use that swimming mission. It's another one. Oh. What are some that you have in mind? Look like they're swimming backwards. Um. I don't know any off the top of my head, but the motion is, it's, it's just a specific type Ooh. of motion. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is an eel. Yeah, um, a lot of these are, yeah. they're just eel-like. They're These yeah. are not eels that we're seeing. It's a tripod it? fish. That's a, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a cool tripod fish. Oh, 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 oh wow, oh, oh. it's really long. <laughs> Whoa, that is incredible. Okay. Look at this Look at one strutting its stuff. Fins. I haven't seen one with such long tripods. Long, tan, yeah, and cool. handsome just right here. Just come wide for a second. <laughs> I'm going to try and just sit down there. Yeah. I was about to say, if we can. <laughs> I know we're not trying to go for pictures, but hey. Sitting so pretty for us. 
It's ready for its picture to be taken. Okay, go in again. Are those exposed all right? Um, looks like it might need a little more. You, you can so yeah. turn that. Uh, oh, yeah. what's going on there? Oh yeah, I wouldn't turn it that low. Yeah. So do they normally just Maybe sit one there? At one. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it's glinting. I think hit the AF first, maybe, and then... Yeah, nice. Yep. Better? Oh, yeah. Cool. Maybe... Um, feeling like a real photographer right here. Photo shoot. But I think we got enough pictures. But that's so cool. I was like, yeah, I think I got enough as well. Leela, do we know any idea why they have these cool fins? Uh, yeah, they position themselves uh, kind of above the bottom boundary layer and in towards towards the current, and they prop themselves up and uh, oh yeah, he's just optimize here. their okay. position for feeding and what comes by in the current. So, so what kind of, kind of stuff do they feed I'm on? Sorry. Go ahead. Say like just. Uh, Maybe a unlucky shrimp comes by, or just uh, some of that yeah. marine snow. Small crustaceans and zooplankton, things that are in the uh, drifting in the small things drifting in the current. You could say it's quite the stand-up fish. Haha! <laughs> 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 oh yeah, get that one. Oh, patience. Ah. And remember, every time before you take it, hit the Auto AF focus. and then that, yeah. Got it. That's probably... Yeah, probably the best we're going to get. Let's see. Here, let me... Real quick. Wanna, yeah. yeah. Go for it. Um, okay, so if, it, if you need more, if you need to be brighter, I would never do plus up here. Okay. Uh, Should have said earlier, uh, I'm Amber, only using can that you get for the negative. still camera up? Okay. Uh, maybe in that lower Argus frame on the Here, lower this monitor. Can get more we can't get the pilot camera there. going anyway. Might okay. as well have that. Got it. There we go. We're a little far yeah. from it for still cam, but that's still a that's cool right. picture. Yeah, we got a bunch. So sweet. Thank you. For Thank you for the that. Yeah, that's yeah, we'll great. Get the, um, we should have had that up here. We'll get. I'll get a view of that up here so I can see it. Sure. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then, uh, Help frame stuff. And now to the. So that's it, is it? Sediment. I thought this was the pilot. Oh that's no. Wow, big set of One second. Mm -hmm. Got to check out which one it is. Uh, okay, PC3. Ah, okay. That's a cool shot of Herc. Over the ripples. Poor Atalanta bobbing up and down. <laughs> Yanked. There was a well, booby a cool sitting under the under Argus earlier tonight. <laughs> so it's getting some use. Is that a Dead, dead stock of something to the right of the lasers. Mm. Kind of looks corally. I think it's dead oh, no, it's stock. Dead. With something on top. Yep. Oh. Snake star. Oh. Maybe those are some crinoids further down. Can't see really. <laughs> 